Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you today. Good gameplay. This is a real back and forth uh, type of gameplay I got going on here. But I'm going to give you guys in this video uh, 10 tips that I think are ultimately uh, some of the more important things when it comes to winning games. It's not necessarily about offense or defense, although some of them will be things that you have to do on offense or defense. These are things more like, you know, situational things. So before I get into the video, though, if you guys want to do me a favor, hit the like button, scroll down a little bit. It takes you two seconds. It really helps this channel out other than that if you like what you see make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button so starting off with the ball i typically on the first uh, player to like to run the ball i mean i don't want to make a a big mistake because i don't know what my opponent's doing but i would say one of the first things you should be doing in every game is setting your audible plays you're going to see right here very first series i'm setting my audible plays they last throughout the entire game so do that as quick as possible the second the second play is done uh the next series of plays i'm going to go into i'm going to immediately start setting my my audibles again that's because when you if you see a weakness in a defense it does you no good if you don't have a play that you can capitalize on that so like i said always have your audibles set as early as possible in games uh, i mean you have all the time in the world you control the clock when you're on offense my next tip would be to save your money plays for money downs. That's basically third down, fourth down, when you need them the most. If you show your hand too much and you're running your money plays too early, you're not going to have anything to go to once, uh, once you need it. Now, it didn't work out there because the pressure got in, but ultimately, that's a tip that's going to pay dividends over time. So, I mean, not necessarily everything I say is going to work out for me in this gameplay. These are just general tips that I'm kind of, you know, showing you guys uh, whether it's something that I do or my opponent does. Uh, so here on the next series, I cut off the screen. I read the lineman, cut it off really well. He just throws it up. What? And ultimately, I think that was a little bit of luck, but he's going to press his luck on the very next play. He thinks he can do it again, I guess. Nope. Maybe the last play he thought I couldn't use her deep because of the, the fact. That, I mean, I really didn't even get a switch to the guy that was in position, but either way, we get an interception and we get a really big return. So next series on the offensive side here, we're going to use the uh, Heisman formation, which I've been using a lot. Um, and he does a very good job shutting it down the first time. But I'm definitely going to go back to that. So then on third and 10, I pull out my money play once again. And I don't know, man, that dude just got right off the edge. Really stopped that drive. Ultimately, my offense is not clicking at, at all at this point, but that's okay. On the defensive side... He's having some success against my man coverages. He's just hitting the, the routes at the right point in time. I mean, for the most part, I'm just running the same man cover too. I've been running all year. And like I said, like right here, I mean, I don't necessarily have the cornerbacks because I'm playing in a draft champion. So it's not like I necessarily get to, to build my team the way that I would want. But ultimately, that's fine. So first and 10, uh, my opponent here, I'm coming out with something different. He's coming out in a single wide set, which is not typically going to beat me deep. Gotcha, bitch. Sure enough, he tries to beat me deep, though. And we're going to get a pick again. So this is actually something that if you're going to make mistakes, man, your mistakes is not that bad of an idea as you can see right there i mean basically it was a punt so that's something if you're going to throw picks make sure you throw them deep that's something that you can definitely live with although i did get probably a bigger return than he would have hoped so second and five uh, i motion this guy out thinking that he can get open on, in the flats looks like i have time that was bullshit. but he just breaks on that extra fast i don't know that, that animation kind of pissed me off as you can see, he gets gifted with a pick six. I really think that that should have been, at the very least, at the very least should have been a contested catch or something. Like, that was just insane. But it is what it is. So that kind of pissed me off to the point where I'm going to up my tempo. I think changing tempo when the game's not going your way, I mean, I, I think ultimately this isn't really planned. I just was to the point where I was like, I'm not messing around anymore. And I just went straight to a five wide hurry up. And then pretty much every play through here on out is being one of my more money plays because, like I said, I'm at the point now where nothing's really working out on offense. I need points, so I'm basically just going to go for it. I'm burning them. I'm beating them with big chunk plays. And on the very next play, he very obviously changes his uh, defense. As you can see right here, he tries to base a line here at the last second, but I, I saw that. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't hide that from me. He went to a cover three. So we're going to switch up our attack. We're going to go with the exact same play, but we're going to hit him with this cover three right up the seam because that's typically where cover three are vulnerable and we go right down the field so always watch for tells when it comes to uh, offense or defense your your opponent's always going to be showing you something pre-snap that you need to be aware of and react to so next series he's got the ball with a little bit of time 
Um, I probably should have played a little bit smarter as far as going down the field. Um, still playing pretty good defense, though. I mean, the man coverage is getting it done. He's still taking a lot of shot plays. On the next play, I'll smart myself a little bit as I pick my normal cover, too. It's, he's got, you know, I, I figure on third and three, he's probably going to run it. So I do something I saw on YouTube that I've never labbed. I've never tried before. It was something I saw where, the, where they were putting uh, the safeties in uh, QB contains, which to me never really made sense anyway. And sure enough, I try that. And on the very next play, I didn't even get to set it up the whole way. And on the very next play, he just hits me with a simple out route, and he's off to the races. Damn it! Definitely lab something you see before you actually try it online. Uh, that was definitely not a good situation to do it. And then he does something which, you know, pisses me off, but at the same time is also very smart. That's time management. Right away and gave me a full 30 seconds instead of running the clock down and then scoring with four seconds left. I probably would have went down the field and at least got a field goal. So that was a very smart move. Second half, he's got ball. He did miss the extra point, though, after all that showboating. So there's at least that. Uh, and then he's hitting me with those man beaters again. He's just hitting me with good timing routes coming out of the break, uh, which ultimately ultimately you know i guess i'm running a lot of man so i guess he's he's to the point where he's reading it uh we're still stopping the run pretty easily with this and then on the next play he's going to try to hit me with a deep crossing route uh which i'm all i'm right i'm behind it if i were if he throws the ball right now I can see where this looks like an opening, but gotcha, bitch. I'm going to play the route, not the actual receiver, and I'm just going to sprint to the spot, and you can see right there, we, we cut that off, get the interception, then on the next couple series of offensive plays, I'm going to use the wide side of the field, that's important, you're going to maximize every play if you make sure you run it to the wide side of the field, very next play, we got a pass play to the wide side, I catch him in a shift, uh, which is also something, if you're going to be seeing your opponent shifting or changing defenses, don't give him time to get set, it's not my job to make sure that you have time to get set on a play and we get a very easy touchdown because he was shifting from one defense to another that goes back to what i was saying too about watching for tells i mean obviously i noticed that they were the cornerbacks were flipping the entire length of the field so it's a perfect opportunity to try to run the play so before the cornerback gets set so on the offensive side now he's just running the ball on third and six though you got to play the spot not necessarily the routes that, gotcha, bitch. that was not my route to cover which is why i got that interception uh he needed six yards and that was the first uh you know route that that really came open over six yards so i jumped it that plus the fact that he's hit that route before earlier in the game so next series I mean, i'm running out of time i'm still trying to use one of my money plays but i didn't have enough time to set it up entirely so it didn't work in retrospect don't be afraid to use your timeouts this is something that i mean i'm kicking a field goal now i'm playing it smart but when it comes to uh critical games critical downs uh, critical situations use your timeouts that's what they're there for and i definitely should have called a timeout so i could set that play up properly so it would have worked but ultimately i thought i could make it happen without it being fully set up so it is what it is on defense watch for tempo changes like right here i'm going to switch the play based off of the fact that my opponent is obviously picking up the tempo he's been pretty comfortable uh using a lot of man beating routes for the most part so i'm gonna hit him with a cover too in the hopes that it throws a little uh bit of a twist his way a little change up and uh, i mean luckily they he still caught the ball, but luckily there, I get a penalty. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to go right back to that man cover one. I just thought that, you know, I could trick him. And then sure enough, I'm not covering my assignment. The running back was my assignment. Uh, he makes a big play. A lot of times, I try to cheat routes just like I did the, with the previous interception, the previous play with the interception. So on first and 10 here, I mean, he's basically, you know, he hasn't run the ball very well all game. Uh, maybe just not a good running player. I'm not really sure. Some players are like that. I'm cutting off the short route here. This would have been a game changer. Oh, come on! But hey, that's Madden. Some picks they give you, some picks they don't. I think that was definitely something that should have been a pick. And then on the next play, I mean, put your hands up, bro. <laughs> So two plays in a row where they don't go for the picks, get into a fourth and five, and he has his first successful run play of pretty much the entire game to pick it up and keep the drive going. So the very next couple of plays, he's playing it smart, he's playing it short. Uh, maybe he's playing clock management, uh, which is something he's shown that he's done. Uh, but then I ultimately mess up. I go with an all-out man blitz, trying to change it up a little bit. And uh, you got to go with what got you there. I've not been running man blitzes the entire game. Um, it's not something that I find is very successful this year. And it didn't work out anyway, as you can see for whatever reason i got no pressure sending the entire team uh and he just basically just picks me apart for a touchdown so it is what it is so we're down two if i can get this stop we're, we're a field goal away from a win no. and then sure enough you know he just he just buys time and, and 
goes up four. So now I'm in a position where I need a touchdown, which is not necessarily the best position. I don't want to show him my hand entirely, so I'm hitting with a couple of QB draws just to make him think that, hey, maybe I'm not going to pass like crazy right here. I'm uh, just trying to confuse him a little bit. Then on third and two, I mean, I, I pre diagnose I'm thinking this is a man coverage. I'm going to hit that RB route even though I got a tight end running it. So I pre diagnose and that's a mistake because I could just move the chains and just hit this A route right over the middle, which is wide open. He's saying an all-out blitz, which isn't working either. Sure enough, though, I throw an interception, and that's looking like game over with under two minutes to go, and he gets a really big return, basically putting himself in a position to score again. I lost. I lost. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to lose. That brings me to my next tip, which is don't quit. People quit at the, at the slightest, you know, things don't go their way in this game. Anything could happen. On the very next play, I'm stacking the box because I know he probably has to run the ball. Gotcha, bitch. And sure enough, he hasn't had any success, so he checks out of it and throws a pick on the very next play. So we're right back in this game uh, with plenty of time. We just have to make sure we don't make the same mistakes. So I'm not going to be conservative anymore. I'm going to make this, this game, uh, you know, I'm going to take this game over with my passing game. On the very next play, we're going up top. That was always the plan. We're going to hit him with this play one more time. Like I said, I knew I was going to come back and have a lot of success. Quarterback gets the block, and we're almost to the point where we score, uh, but we got to go back to clock management, just like my opponent did at the end of the first half. We don't want to give my, our, our opponent the, much, the ball with much time, so we're going to run the ball. I'm actually happy I didn't score. If I would have scored, I would have scored, but ultimately I didn't want to. I didn't, that's why I didn't choose my best play. Then he doesn't call his timeout, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit him on two clock, and we're basically going to take this down as far as we can before we score in the very next play. So I'm giving him the ball back with very little time uh, he doesn't have much time at all with about 30 seconds left but still has all three of his timeouts and then on the very next play I guess he didn't see me waiting out here I mean he's still got time too he still got his three timeouts so he doesn't necessarily call it on the very next play we get a very big run uh, to seal the deal and uh, to call games. So he's going to head out after that. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.